What's up, guys? This is Habs Fan TV. Um, the Jeff Gordon press conference has just wrapped up, and I uh, just wanted to give you guys my general thoughts on what he said, what was interesting, uh, what was unexpected, and what he said. So, right off the bat, um, personally, uh, I know it's, it's obviously a bit corny because obviously he doesn't know how to speak French, but I mean, I found it endearing that he was he made that attempt to speak in French, no matter how bad it came out. Um, but one thing that I find after that, that kind of like ruined the moment is all the, you know, the, the so-called French media that are on his back and ask him, well, how well are you going to know French? Well, are you taking classes? Like, guys, the guy is 30 years old. What are the chances he's going to become fluent in French after this? Probably bar, like, probably like zero, okay? Like, languages are something pretty hard to learn as you move on in life. I don't think it's fair to expect on him to learn French. I think for him to learn a few phrases and key words at the beginning, I think it's it's a show of goodwill from him and we should accept it as it is. I don't think it's even fair to expect him to speak French. So I don't I don't like when French media make it always about the language. It's it's enough. Like at some point you just need to call it as it is. He's an English speaking uh you know, director of hockey operations, I guess. So just deal with it. Um, now, once we got the language thing out of the way, I absolutely love everything that he said. I think that um, the best thing is uh, we know now that if there's going to be a rebuild, we will probably be told about it. Uh, he made a big point about being transparent with the fans and it's something that's needed. Uh, it's something he always did with the Rangers um, and it's something that he will probably do here if we're gonna need a rebuild. So I think that's good news. Um, I mean, if, if, I mean, other interesting things, um, he's talking a lot about analytics and bringing in an analytics department. Uh, first of all, I'm quite disappointed to know that the Montreal Canadiens did not have an analytics department. Um, I think it's something that in every sport, there is an analytics department. There's been great use uh, in soccer and hockey. Uh, and I'm actually really, really surprised that we don't have one. So um, it's good to see that he's taking initiative on modernizing this team, which you know, I can, I mean, it's not necessarily surprising. I mean, you know, Montreal Canadiens, this club is pretty old fashioned. It's been built on, you know, a lot of history, but it's time for us to start learning new modern uh, ways to coach a hockey team. And I think analytics is going to be crucial. Um, you know, he spoke about having better player development, uh, not only developing our players once they come to Montreal, but also developing them uh, mentally a little bit before teaching them how to train, teaching them how to eat while they're in Laval, while they're in, uh, you know, La Ligue Junior Major, um, in play, you know, in whatever league they play. I think that's absolutely crucial. Uh, I think that it shouldn't be just a matter of, well, now you're at the Montreal Canadiens, so we're going to just bombard you with all kinds of information. Uh, I think it's good that they're taking, he's, he's thinking of taking initiative on that front. Um, he spoke on the fact that the jersey was thrown yesterday. I, I mean, uh, it's something that personally I, I just don't love to see. I don't ever want to see this ever touch the floor. It's not respectful. Um, but 100%, what I am in favor of, though, is for fans to voice their displeasure in many, many ways. And there are many ways to do it. We could walk out after a certain amount of time. We could do a lot of things. We could voice our displeasure. Um, I just don't think throwing a jersey on the ice is it. We're not the Toronto Maple Leafs. Let's not become them, please. Um, I think, you know, he understands the frustration of the fans and I, I think he's going to be uh, more and more present uh, and he's going to be making uh, uh, a lot of statements uh, throughout the season. So I think that's good. Um, you know, he mentions he's a Bruins fan. Well, who would have thought we have a Bruins fan in charge of the Montreal Canadiens? Uh, he, he did not like the Montreal Canadiens growing up. Um, and I, you know what? I, I kind of think it's a kind of good idea. I think Bergevin... You know, you love the team and unfortunately it could lead you uh, to make decisions that are not in your best interest. You know, like some of these long-term contracts, like, you know, perhaps Gallagher, like looking back on it now, like was it really justified or was it just on pure emotion? Um, you know, a lot of these Francophone guys, is it really because they're that good or is David Savard actually worth $4 million a year? Uh, remains to be seen. Uh, but I, I think it's good. He, he's got a very objective opinion, but that objective opinion could also bring, you know, for example, the end of uh, Carey Price's term in Montreal. So 
we'll see how he balances that out. Um, uh, but I think it's definitely a fresh start, and I think it's something that the Canadians definitely need. Um, that, that pretty much wraps up his, his press conference. I mean, uh, nothing too concrete. I mean, he doesn't have a lot of time to work with the team. He still needs to look at everything. Um, but I think overall he said all the right things. Uh, and I can't wait to see who he's going to pick as GM. And he says that he'll probably pick him uh, after uh, Christmas. And uh, I guess the last point that was kind of thrown at the end by François Gagnon, uh, they asked him, well, uh, is Duchamp's job safe? And he said yes. And he said for the rest of the season. So uh, I don't know how I don't know how that's going to work. Like, I, I understand that we need to pay off Julien's contract. I understand that Duchamp is under this new contract and they don't want to start you know this process of paying old old coaches but like it's starting to become a point where it's becoming detrimental like it's clear that some of the coaching decisions could be better no matter how the canadians are playing so i think that he's saying that for now but i mean i'm sure i'm sure they will have to reevaluate uh, even if our goal is to tank it's just i don't think there's a good vibe in that locking locker room i think that they just don't have any trust in the sham so it remains to be seen all of that um, so those are my thoughts on the Jeff Gordon press conference. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, what do you guys think of Jeff Gordon? Uh, what do you think about the direction that's going to be taken? What do you think about fans throwing jerseys on the ice? Let me know in the comments and we'll see you next time. Habs Fan TV. Habs Fan TV, thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe and comment. This channel is made for the fans, by the fans. More videos are coming soon, so please stick around.